The goal of this video will be explain how to create uh, synoptics inside Grafana, inside a, a panel of Grafana. Um, there are different ways of doing that. The, the way that I am going to use will be using a plugin called SVG plugin. <clears throat> and as you can see here, there is a all well-known SVG file loaded in Grafana. And currently just one reading, one metric, is shown in this case as a temperature for the solar panel. Um, currently the configuration says retrieve from the data source every five seconds the, a reading. And once this reading is done, automatically the information is shown in the solar panel. OK, before starting or before going deep on that description, let me do a step back. And first of all, let me talk about the library called snap.svg. Uh, that library, as the name says, is uh, specialized on playing with SVG files. <clears throat> And at the end of the day, it will be an easy way of manipulating the DOM of an SVG file. For learning a little bit about that, what I did is just load the panel, load the SVG file with that library, and just show a simple word test inside the text field of the solar panel. For doing that, of course, I had to create an HTML5, as you can see here. It's really simple HTML5, nothing special. Uh, but just mentioned that here is where we load the library, the Snap SVG library. Of course, we load the library minified. And once the library is loaded, the next thing that it happens is that the SVG JavaScript uh, file is loaded. Uh, here it is where my code for learning a little bit about this library is attached. OK, here it is the code that I created for playing a little bit around with that library. And then, as you can see, the first thing that we do is declare the size of the canvas. In this case, it's a quite big canvas. The next thing will be load the SVG file. Once this file is loaded, that function is, is called. Uh, then we happen the content of that <clears throat> SVG file. Uh, this is how I select the content of SVG file. We add this content to the canvas previously defined. It makes uh, appear at the end of the day the, the draw in the, in the screen, or much more than that. Once this is loaded, here it is my new DOM. And now I find a group inside the DOM called uh, T1, OK? It's the same thing that I did in the past using uh, native JavaScript. But uh, here we are using a library. It seems quite easier because it is shorter. OK, once this is done in T1, I have the element of the DOM called T1. Uh, let me, this element is, let me reduce that a little bit. That element is that square with uh, black border and background red with some text inside. Okay. Then uh, let me go here again. Once this uh, square is selected, the next thing that I do is select all text fields that are inside that group of things. When I get that, I just want to play with the first element of that list of text fields. At the end of the day, there is only one field. <clears throat> then I access to the native uh, properties of the DOM element, and I modify the property called uh, inner HTML. Here I assign that value, which is test, and it changes the default value. 
which is the four value is, is the same that we have here, but with the uh, text T1, and now it's changed <coughs> by the word test. So not a lot of magic so far, but a little bit of practice with that new library that I didn't know. Uh, as I said, for doing that stuff with Grafana, what we are going to do will be install this plugin, SVG plugin from Marco Worm. Uh, it's, it's quite old, or it seems that, because the documentation talks about Grafana 3.00, and maybe as you know, we are currently we are with uh, the version 5.2. The version of the plugin is also a very initial state, but so far as I tested, it works good. Okay, then here it is, and I put that in 100%. Okay, here it is, uh, the result, as you have seen before. Let me go to the to the details about this panel. Uh, okay, just let me go, let me go step by step. The first thing that we did is just add one new panel called SVG, so like this one, and later add this panel. Okay, nothing else than that. Let me remove this one. We are going to play with this panel. As always, we have the general options of the panel. In metrics, we can select our data source and what's our going to what is going to be our time series. And the plugin here has the, the next steps of the plugin configuration are ad hoc for this one. The first one is a SVG uh, builder. It allows you to uh, add different elements to the to the panel. Okay. Uh, let me say something. If you are using SVG Builder, you cannot use the next option, which is SVG. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this is a way of defining um, an SVG file from scratch, because I already had an SVG file previously created. I don't have to to play with that option. <clears throat> to be honest with you, I think this option could be a little bit difficult to play with. Uh, depending on what's going to be your goal. By the way, it's something that you have available here, and it allows you to create uh, that, camber, that SVG canvas, adding uh, elements one by one. Okay. Uh, what I did, as I said, it just uh, copied the source code of the SVG files that I already had. Here it is the complete code of the, the synoptic that I had here, uh, you can create that with whatever SVG editor. Um, but remember, depending on how the SVG editor works, it will be a little bit tricky to modify the DOM of that SVG file. In my case, I use it an online tool called Gravit.io. Okay. This is the tool that I use for for the design that you have seen. And as I was saying, just copy the source code of the uh, SVG file generated here, and then go to the Events tab, where you are going to put the business logic of uh, your Synoptic. There are two parts. The first one is called on handle metric, which is going to be called every time uh, there is a new metric reading available, okay? Then remember, this is going to be called by events. And the other function when available is the on init. On init is going to be uh, called in after loading the SVG for allowing you to apply, uh, let me say, an initial state of the synoptic. In my case, I used the same code in both places, let me explain what's there. Let me zoom in a little bit for easy reading. Um, as you can see, it's inspired in this code that I used in 
my learning phase of the SVG SNAP library or SNAP SVG library. Um, then what you have to do is just uh, oops, declare the canvas with as, as previously I said, but in this case, um, that, uh, that function receives a parameter called SVG node, which is an HTML DOM node containing the SVG data. So all the stuff that we have here is received as a parameter in this variable. Then what I do is pass that variable directly to the SNAP library for properly creating the canvas. And, and the next thing, in this case, the canvas is created, but inside the variable S, so it's not printed in the screen, okay? But it's, the, uh, it's a reference to the same uh, DOM that you have printed in the screen. Then what I do, let me select the box that we want to modify, select the text field as we previously, identify the property that we want to modify, and in this case, here it is something necessary for uh, Grafana. Uh, in the previous example, what we did, once the object was identified and attribute to, it assigned a, a static text, co text called test. What we do here is a little bit more interesting. It just has another parameter when we receive the call of this function, which is control. Control, it has a complete context of the, con of the panel. And then as a property, it has a property called series, which has uh, all the data of the time series loaded in the screen. We select the first time series, which is the data so the, the unique data source that we declared. And later, what we do is in that time series, uh, we select the first data point and the first fill. Okay, the first data point is that zero. Okay, in this case, there is only one data point, so it's very easy. And the first fill of this data point, and the first fill of this data point is a value. Okay, if you want to to know a little bit more about that, you can do something like that and later go to the to the console for debugging what's inside this element. Anyway, in the Grafana documentation, there is tons of details about this object, metrics panel control object. In my case, uh, this is all that I need because in the final tab time range, I didn't select anything. Of course, this is a very, very basic approach and just a proof of concept about how you can uh, create synoptics using SVG files and updating those SVG files in Grafana using the data sources of Grafana. So it's super interesting, super useful, and I think very easy way of doing that. Of course, if you don't want, only want to paint uh, values, you can also play with the uh, SVG properties, simulating how a tank is filling, how something is opening or closing, how to turn on a fan or turn off a fan, whatever, okay? Uh, it just manipulates terms of SVG files. Um, very good. This is all that I want to share with you in this video. I hope it is useful.